Yes, hello, hello, good morning, muy buenos dias, continuous liners, this is Megan Burns coming to you live from San Miguel de Allende. Yeah, 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 good uh, day everyone, it is Thursday, I am back here in San Miguel, I've got my latte. Mm -hmm. I'm just starting to feel human again after, um, well, I wasn't not feeling human, but, you know, I just got back from my Mexico City workshop, and it was super cool, super, super, super cool. Uh, but because I'm, uh, like, on <laughs> around the clock, I have to take a few days to just be quiet. And everyone goes, oh, no, you don't know how to be quiet. You don't know how to do that. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. The only reason why I can be on like that is because I really, really, really take care of my energy. There's a, a neighbor here who has a car alarm that continues every like 15 minutes. It goes off, so hopefully you can't hear it, and hopefully it'll stay off. So I have my continuous line warm-up book here. I've just prepped it for um, getting ready to go to, I'm leaving for Paris this weekend. What? Yep, it's literally, I got home and I scooped everything out of my suitcase and dumped it on the floor, sorted it, did some laundry, and now I'm scooping it back into... Stop it! Be quiet! <laughs> there goes that car alarm again. Uh, yeah, so I am packing to go to Paris, uh, where I'm leaving to... I, I have to go to Mexico City, so um, I'm leaving on Sunday, and my flight is on Monday. So pretty exciting. And I, um, I prepped my handmade sketchbook for Paris. Here, I have it here. And, you know, I, this is my shtick now. I make one of these for every time I go on a trip and even a workshop or whatever. And the one that I did for Mexico City, I, uh, I got, I had too much color on it, right? And that's always the thing I say when people are making it. Like, go easy on the colors. You want to make sure you leave lots of white. And, uh, you know, I left some white, but I also, put a lot of color on here which then makes it hard to draw over I think the other side is even more oh yeah this side is like like there was an accident <laughs> um, yeah here's at the folk art museum I mean it's still kind of cool it's still kind of Mexico City but it's just a little aggressive with the colors and I like to leave my whole style is sort of evolved in that I like to leave more white because it just, I feel like white tells, uh, helps to tell the good story, right? So this one, yeah, I, I went a little crazy with the colors and, you know, it's fine, but it's not really, <laughs> that's so Mexico City, right? The symbols of death and Dia de Muertos. And I even was using like the silver pen to get some of the pre-Hispanic clay figurines that Diego Rivera uh, collected in his lifetime. Yeah, so here's like, just look, this is Mexico City, right? <laughs> Wahoo! Super aggressive colors and chaos and the whole deal. And it's all right, except it was just, it hurt my eyes a little bit, right? So making the one for... Um, Paris I wanted to go lighter on the colors and so what I did is I put tape and masking fluid down so here's one side of my Paris book hello um, with just blue and green on this side and then just uh, no blue and yellow on this side and red and yellow on this side hello so yeah I'm all set for Paris I've got my Paris sketchbook handmade sketchbook ready to roll and so that's coming with me to Paris Mexico City will go on the shelves and in the meantime I am preparing myself to uh, get to Paris right I'm I'm building a sketch Paris with Megan workshop and, um, you know, it's not until next year, so I got plenty of time to figure things out. Um, but I'm pretty excited because I'm doing lots of research on expanding my business to Europe, right? Like, I have been, I'm an American, but I live in Mexico, Mexico City, San Miguel de Allende. These are kind of my stomping grounds. And, um, 
but expanding my business and my workshops to to Europe is, you know, that's a big move. It's a big step. There's a ton of people doing workshops in Europe. I mean, that's why a lot of us artists go to Paris to like make art and be around art and meet other artists and the whole artistic experience, right? Because does it get any more exciting than Europe? I mean, I guess it's all relative, right? But uh, as a lot of us have ancestors in the European region, um, that's a little presumptive to say, but like generally speaking, Americans kind of look to Europe as like that's where we came from. Not all of us, but I'm just saying a good number. I don't want to get myself in trouble with like, be quiet! <laughs> I'm yelling at a car alarm now. I don't understand because it sounds like someone is like turning it off and then it goes back on. It's, I hope you can't hear it in this thing. Anyways, so, you know, a lot, there's a million and a half workshops in uh, Europe. And if you've gone over there for a workshop, you know that you have lots and lots and lots of choices, right? Artists that are doing workshops and uh, um, workshop groups, you know, that, that bring in different artists. And the mediums, I mean, it's endless when it comes to art workshops in Europe. It's endless. It goes on and on and on. Now, you you decide you want to come to Mexico and do a workshop. That list is hugely smaller. Do I want to say the word hugely? No, I don't. <laughs> Drastically smaller, right? Um, it just It just doesn't have... The chops, the artistic, it, there's artistic chops here, but there's just not the art workshop. Now, I'm doing art workshops here, but I think, I know that it can be a little bit of, of a tough sell because people, generally speaking, are um, afraid of Mexico. And that's, you know, if you're afraid of Mexico, you should be afraid of the world, right? Because there's a lot of the same problems here that are elsewhere. You know, like Paris literally can be on fire. People can be crawling with bed bugs. The garbage are, is piled up in the streets and it's burning. And um, But people will still go. And there's just something about the, you know, Parisian charm of the manifestations, the protesting and all that, where, um, you know, even though it can be quite scary, for whatever reason, it's a little bit more acceptable. There's something that happens here in Mexico. Like I remember a couple years back, there was... Uh, some shootings at the border, at the Mexico-American border. America is a country that is consumed with guns, right? And so here it was, uh, there was an incident on the border and people canceled workshops here in San Miguel and Guanajuato, which is literally like a 10 hour drive from the border, right? It's like a shooting in, um, in Texas and you cancel your workshop in Minnesota. Well, that's a little, you know, exaggerated, but you get my drift, right? So for whatever reason, there's a different set of scrutiny when it comes to Mexico. Not all and not for everyone, but just generally speaking, right? And so here I am. I'm going to throw my hat into the European uh, <laughs> world. And do I have the chops? I don't know. I don't know. But here we go. We're going to find out. We are going to find out. I feel like I'm sort of out here by myself, the wild, wild west uh, Mexico, and I don't and know a lot of peers, and I don't have a lot of peer support. I really, you know, I'm not trying to be woe is me, but I just, I don't have a lot of peer support here. And, you know, in my mind, oh, in Europe, there's going to be a lot more people. Well, I don't know. Maybe people just don't like me. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. But anyways, enough about me. Uh, yeah, so uh, this workshop in Mexico City was super you know like the tenants the tenants of a continuous line practice and the reasons why to do it and with every workshop i just i'm more convinced that it's such a good thing <laughs> stop it stop it oh my god i hope you can't hear that um <laughs> car alarm who's using car alarms and does anyone care if a car alarm goes off anymore I mean, honestly, everyone just runs away from it, right? Because it's loud and obnoxious. Uh, yeah, so in this workshop that I just had, great group of gals, all women from all over, all over the United States. And some had experience urban sketching, but some did not. Some were like, no, I am not an urban sketcher, and I have 
zero desire to be one. And I say to that, I say, amen. <laughs> no, I mean, like, do your thing. It doesn't have to be like one thing or another, right? My workshops tend to have urban sketching elements to it, but it's not all about urban sketching. It's about the creative experience, a cultural experience, a Epicurean experience. It's an art, an immersive, epic, immersive arts experience, right? That's what I'm all about. And that's what I want to now start creating in Europe. It's not pure urban. Oh, meet me in the morning and we're going to urban sketch this heck out of this cafe. And then, and then we're going to go have lunch and then you're on your own. No, mine are a little bit more, um, uh, immersive, right? I like to kind of keep the whole gang together. And you know, like this workshop in Mexico city, we had such a great time, right? We went to the parks we went to the museums we went to great restaurants we went on a boat we went on a bus <laughs> uh yeah ate amazing tacos and other stuff and yeah so it was really cool to see how through continuous line everyone has a place at the table and that sounds a little obnoxious but i really mean it like sometimes urban sketching um people feel like they're not um, skilled enough for it, right? Because there's the, that aggressive manifesto that you must do things this way and you have to do things this way. Otherwise, you're going to be kicked out of the group, right? And that's fine. They got their rules. And I am an urban sketcher. I just don't like the aggressiveness of um, the whole deal. But um, I, I do like being out in the streets making art. That's like my most favorite thing in the world. And these are the kinds of experiences I want to create for my community not only a place to uh practice our art online right the continuous line storytelling is all about like keeping the the, the thing moving right keeping it moving keep practicing because you can have all the greatest tools in the world but if you don't practice you got nothing babe i'm sorry that's just how the cookie crumbles you got to practice and you know once a week is fine but it's not enough if you want to get good at these things right <laughs> i like to practice every day but that's just me i'm a little nutty about these things and it's probably as a way you know ever since the covid uh, era that we're still in you know i have a hard time being out there socially i'm not as social as i used to be i don't like to be in groups i don't like to go to parties i don't like to go to bars i'm really quite a weirdo now and I blame it all on this COVID era because while I was always a little socially awkward, um, you know, I got out there and did stuff. Now I really, I'm in the bunker or I'm in a workshop. And I don't know if that's good or not, but I really, I'm just trying to do the best I can. I really am. And sometimes that means I have to hide. Like right now I'm hiding out just because I got back from a workshop and I was all like, the first seven days, blah, 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 <laughs> blah, 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 And, um, you know, I love what I do and it's super cool, but I'm like, now I'm this social weirdo back in my apartment looking out the window, seeing who's parking halfway down the street and are they looking for me? <laughs> no, they're not looking for me, but you know that whole deal, right? I'm a social weirdo ever since the COVID era, and I don't know what to do about it. So you know what I'm going to do about it? I'm just going to keep drawing because I don't know what else to do, right? And I'm going to keep talking to cameras, and I'm going to keep talking to YouTubes, and I'll, you know, the so whole social media thing is such a mind <clears throat> boggle. It's like it hurts. It's obnoxious. It's painful. It's, um, I think, I don't know anyone that says social media makes them feel good. I don't know anyone. I've even chatted with people who have large numbers and it makes everyone feel bad. But why do we do it? It's a racket, right? Like we're all trapped in this racket. And I have an art business, which is a visual thing, and I'm trying to support myself. And honestly, sometimes at the end of the day, I'm like, I am so tired of hearing myself. I am so tired of blah, Megan, 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 continuous line. I really do. I sometimes really get tired of hearing myself. And, you know, I post my drawings and they, you know, uh, the whole thing of like, oh, nobody likes it. Look at that one. Everyone likes that one. And no one likes mine. And I'm not very good. And I'm a fraud. Blah, blah, blah. 
I mean, honestly, I don't think a lot of people like my drawings, but I like my drawings. I think a lot of women, I'm going to say it, like the pretty watercolor, and I'm so bored with the pretty watercolor. I mean, the boring watercolor. I could care less about a pretty landscape, or pretty flowers, pretty a woman in a field, whatever. Give me a garbage truck. Give me... <laughs> Give me, um, you know, the, 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 the police running or to something. You know, I just kind of like the a little bit more. I'm not, here I go, I'm comparing. I shouldn't compare. I just know that I've always been very bored with the pretty watercolor. And I like a little bit more um, guts. <laughs> Anywho, I am now getting ready to go into my Zoom, the continuous line Zoom drawing class. Um, I'm packing up my bags because it's coming on the road with me to Paris. I'm going to be teaching. It's at 5.30. I teach 9.30 in the morning here in San Miguel. And in Paris, I'll be teaching at 5.30 in the evening. So I'll be joining Beji. Uh, and Shalomel used to come in at that time too. And it was like happy hour, right? And, uh, there's a number of people in my group. This is so exciting. A number of people uh, in my continuous line community who are going to be in Paris, Christine Laidwig and I will be there. Uh, Judith Richardson, Heather Atkin, uh, Carolyn Finnerman. Uh, I feel like I'm leaving someone out here. That told me they were going to be in Pajudi, Carolyn, Heather, Chris, Megan. Ah, it's like the whole community is going to be over there. And, um, and I have some meetings lined up with tour guides and I'm going to be, I already have my agenda for Paris and I'm just, I got to get there and hit the ground with it. I got to see how far it is in between things. I was just looking at the weather in Paris. It's going to be like 70 degrees the whole time which is lovely, right? I was like, please don't be a heat wave because I feel like every time I go somewhere, it's a heat wave. I was in Ireland a year ago and it was 90 degrees every single day. And that was, that was, everyone had COVID too. That was brutal. Um, <laughs> where was, oh, Mexico City. Yeah, it was kind of warm, but it also had some rain. I feel like someplace else I went, uh, well, San Francisco was exceptionally warm too, but that was beautiful because I could go bike riding. Anyways, I'm not complaining. Oh, what was me? It's going to be warm in Paris. Uh, but I just got my bike, um, membership. I got my app to go, get on the Metro. I got, um, I, 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 I upgraded my room so that, um, I have a toilet in my room. <laughs> At first, I was like, nah, I'll just wing it. I'm like, no, I'm too old to, like, have to run down the hall. <laughs> I can do it for a night, but I don't want to do it for 10 days. Anywho, that's a little bit too much information, isn't it? So I am getting ready to go uh, into my Zoom class, as I said. So I am going to finish big with a heart, right? Like, sometimes when I get back from doing a workshop, I get a little weepy about things, just... Uh, you know, call me crazy. I can be a little weepy about things. And there's a little bit of an emotional, like, whew, like I was going, going, going and hanging and laughing and drawing with people. And I was kind of the center because I'm the instructor. Come on, everyone. Let's go. Let's go do this. Let's go eat this. Let's go. Ah, ha, ha, look at that. Isn't that funny? And then I get home and I don't even have a dog to be like, where have you been? I don't have any, any of that. Right. So then I get here and I go, oh, nobody loves me. <laughs> Uh, which I know is not true. So I have, I'm going to go easy on myself and go easy on others because we're all just trying to do the best we can. And we're all going to try to get um, Trump in prison because that's where he belongs, right? Um, so that's the agenda moving forward. Getting Kamala in the White House. Um, go easy on myself. Go easy on others. You know, the whole travel thing these days... Um, you know, I'm wearing a mask on the flight to Paris. It says, oh, I read an article that says, don't take your mask off even to eat or drink. And I'm like, huh, 11 hours on a plane. Don't take your mask off to eat or drink. It's not going to work, is it? <laughs> I don't want to get sick. I'm doing whatever I can to try to stay healthy, right? 
But I don't think I can wear a mask for 11 hours straight, right? Anyway, enough about that. Go easy on myself. Go easy on others. Finish big with a heart. Finish big. Go easy, right? Go easy. That's even what I have on the front of my book here. Is this the one? Oh, no. My, my new label says, go easy on yourself. Go easy on others because these are triggering days, right? And we all, you got to do what you can to stay healthy and above the fray because there's a lot of fray out there. Okay, everyone, I'm going to Zoom now, and then I'm going to Paris, but I'll be here. I'll be checking in. Follow me on social media, be on the Instagram, because I'm going to be doing, um, I'm going to be trying to do uh, live drawing demos. I don't know. Is it going to be Instagram or YouTube? I don't know, but uh, I'll be somewhere, and I'll be checking in with you, and I'll be posting my drawings, and I'll be continuous lining all over Paris in um you know, I'm also, anyways, I'm going to just be creating European. I would like to go to Dublin and do a workshop in Ireland, and I'm going to work on that. I don't, like, I feel like everyone goes to Italy, and I don't know that I have a strong enough following to go to Italy. Do I have a strong enough following for Paris? I don't know, but here we go. Here I go. I'm launching it. Me and my ajalote, we're launching off and going to Paris. I lived in Paris in my... 30s. I was supposed to marry a man in San Francisco and he ended up cheating on me. So I took the money I had saved and went to Europe. And I lived in Paris for a while, right? So I am excited to get back to the year. It's time now for the European years, right? It is time for the European years. Tlaloc and I are all packed up and ready to go. Stay safe, stay sane out there, and I'll see you next time. Bye!